Hey everybody, it's me, the awesome Spoops. I am here with Spoops, and we are back. So how are you doing today? Do you know what we're here for? Box. Box, and this box is from Monthly Knife Club. So this isn't going to have a whole lot of stuff in it. It's going to have a cool knife, one cool knife. We're going to unbox it. I'm not sure what this is. This could be the Onyx. It could be the Tier 2 name brand. I'm not sure. So, can I hold it? You want to hold it? Check it out. All right, I'm going to cut the tape, unless you would like to try to cut the tape. Me. You want to try to cut the tape? All right. So, carefully. Now, because of where the camera is, you're going to have to break a rule and cut towards yourself. So, I want you to very carefully and slowly do that. Okay? okay. You're being very careful. Good. You can, you can go a little bit, you're gonna have to use a little bit more force just to cut through the tape because you're just barely skimming on the surface. I know you're trying to be careful and that's cool. I'm gonna help you get, see there's a little channel right there? Yeah, get in there. <clears throat> so go ahead and grab that out. And this is the Onyx. So Onyx is a fancier subscription. So we get kind of a fancy, expensive-ish expensive -ish kind of knife in this subscription. It's a good subscription. Right. It's uh, So you want to read what this is? Greetings, Warns. No, don't read that whole thing. <laughs> Just read the name of the knife right there. Defcon Blade Works. JK Series. Ka... Kabuto. Kabuto. Yeah, that's a it's an interesting word. So what I'm going to do is you can work on unwrapping this plastic, and I'm going to show everybody the specs on the knife. And looking around the internet, that's the price range you'll find it for. That's probably full MSRP right there. Um, and what do we have? So we have six AL4V titanium. CPM S35VN blade. Those are great materials. Those are excellent materials. Do you need me to cut? So oh, you did it. All right. Hey, hold on. Let me just. Okay. Go ahead. Just open it up. Let's see. Halo theme. Halo theme. This is a clean knife. Yeah, that's a little cleaning cloth. Got some screws. Ooh, it looks like this one's gonna be like a little rainbow thing. A little rainbow thing. We got a little got blue the, anodized uh, thing just in case this gets wet. And then this is a screwdriver. Mm, just a little wrench for screws. How's that bag feel? What? A little fuzzy. Heavy. Yeah, it's not that heavy. Okay. Well, let's see, the actual weight is 4.6 ounces, so you think it's not heavy. And you're a little guy, so you think it's light, so that, that means something. Got something else just in the front of this. Okay. Let's see this. I believe we have seen the Kabuto before. Uh-uh. Well, uh-huh. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. Uh-uh. Uh-huh uh -huh. uh -huh times infinity. Uh-uh times infinity. You can't uh-uh times infinity after your I already uh-huh times infinity. I already infinityed you. Uh-uh. I, uh-huh. Uh-huh uh -huh times infinity. We've already been through this. Uh-uh. What do you think? This looks Ooh. really cool. Now they said this was gray, but this is blue. Like a, That's a really nice blue. Like I really a like it. Blue. Well, the blade is gray. That is true, but the this is an anodized. Now nobody on screen can even see what we're talking about right now. I this would, is a blue anodized stone wash. Beautiful titanium. I would finish. say that looks more kind of like a grayish blue. You think? Okay, so if you want to, if you want to hold the knife, you're gonna need to scoot up a little bit so they can actually see what's going on here. Um, My teacher. On Friday, turned me to potato. Yeah, I'm still wondering how she did that. Magic. 
Magic, huh? Yeah, magic. So let's just, Ethan, I'll let you be the one to open it, okay? Let's just take a look at some of the features here. So full titanium, backspacer, um, frame side, show side. I have all the name of this. Okay, go ahead. Um, I mean, the stone wash is subtle, but it's really nice. We've got nice mill work on there to give it some texture on the backspacer. And we have a glass breaker slash temple smasher. Thanks. Just in case I was dirty. Has it? Yeah. Not bad texture. You're not bad feeling on the cloth. Could be a little bit better. Now, here's something I'm going to teach about titanium. The oils on your on your fingers will make it look not as pretty as it really is. So when we're showing off a knife, sometimes we got to, like, keep wiping our fingerprints off. Because we want it to look as nice as possible. Apple. Especially on, on, a, on an anodized one. Apple's uh, iPhone 15 titanium. Their belly can explode. Really? Yeah. You know, that's not the first time. There was a uh, Samsung Galaxy 7, which I think was one of the first exploding battery phones. And also, if you put a pill, if you put a phone on your pillow, it kind of go through your bed. Well, don't do that then. No. Okay, good. Good talk. Clip has nice retention, also titanium clip. We are dead centered. Um, it's actually all right, Ethan. You ready to open up the um, yes, the blades so that we can take a look at it? So, got to scoot on over and flip that out. Make sure you're doing it on camera here, just as hard as you can. No, here's the thing on this is called a frame lock. You want to make sure your fingers are not squeezing that when you're holding it. So, you want to either have your fingers on this clip or over here. I'll try it again. Okay. There you go. See? Ooh. That feel nice and smooth? Yeah. Alright, now we can use this cloth. See how there's some like oil on it? Okay. You know, wipe off the top right there. Yeah. Just the top right there. Oh, that's it's not even it's not even sliding. You know why? This has a a textury finish. Go ahead and feel that. It has like a textured, so it has a textured finish on it. And this kind of dark gray goes really nice with the rest of the I knife. Hate those Cicadas? Yeah. You remember the year they were super loud? Yeah. Go ahead, put that in your hand and see how it feels. You can get a good grip on it. Is it comfortable? Yeah. Looks super big in your hand. You got a little hand. I bet in uh, Shaq's hand that would be very small. Kind of. You know about Shaq? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Somebody, somebody made him a really big knife and got, him, and got him to hold it. It was like basically the same size as mm -hmm. this knife in your hand. Well, that's pretty cool because Shaq was like a big famous basketball player when I was younger. And, and now he's just sort of a babbling weird guy. So you have a rounded spine up here, so you're not going to be doing any ferro striking with it, but um, I have a feeling this is not the kind of knife you're taking out into the wilderness yeah. to do that sort of stuff with. Anyway, you tired? You bored? No. Okay. We have the steel insert and uh, over travel stop. Now here's what I want to know. I want you to try something. I want to know if this is easy for you to unlock. So, do you remember how we unlock these knives to close them? No. Okay, so you got to push your thumb against that and then move the blade. You want to try? Yeah. Okay. Is that hard for you? Push. Push that way. Is that hard for you to move? Yeah. Yeah, you got little thumbs. It's okay. There is a little bit of resistance on the lock. Not too much. But you're definitely not going to close it by accident. The action on this thing is awesome. Screws. Yep, we got some extra screws. Now, I never, we saw this in another knife that we just did by DEF CON. One blue anodized pivot screw. I guess you can change it. I, yeah, but only one. Like, wouldn't you want to change all of them? I don't know. Mm. Interesting. Clip is not reversible. Which means some people, if they're left-handed, they might want the clip on the other side. But it doesn't do anything for them. Uh, but the action on it is really slick. I mean, it's really... And 
Remember what we call that? What do we call that when it just falls down on its own? Come on, we learned that word. I forgot. It's okay. That's drop shuddy. Could we try this and replace one of those with these? How about I will do that with you after the video, just because that takes a while. We don't want to take the video's time for it. But I'll show you how to do that, okay? Because right now we're going to cut some stuff. Yay. You remember some of the things we learned about how to do the money? Yeah, don't but like push it, like just a little bit of force, but just okay. mostly about the money. So hold it closer to the end you're going to cut. Got to hold it, got to hold it, like hold the money straight up. Okay, now on an angle, just don't, just hold it and then just pull it through and let it slice down. You got to hold it at more of an angle. Okay. Yeah, you're doing it. All right. You ended up going vertical, and that's okay. But a really nice way to test it is to lay it on an angle and just let the blade do that work for you. And that's how we know if it's finished nicely. You shouldn't shouldn't need to push it. You should just, it should just slice. Wanna try again? Yeah. Okay. See how I was like at an angle? Yeah, and just pull it and let the, the weight of the, see there you go, the weight of the blade as it's slicing should be enough. If it's sharpened nicely to just let it pass through the paper. You're vertical again. Well, that's okay. Oh no, you did an angle, I'm sorry. You're doing good. Yay. You're doing great. Very nice. And do you feel how you don't have to use any force? The weight of the blade as you pull it back just lets it drop through? Yeah. That's what we want. That tells us that that blade is finished really nice right out of the factory. All right, you ready to cut some rope? Yay, ropes. If I can untangle this squidly octopus mess. The first one, I'm gonna do this. You watch what I do, okay? We just hold it in a loop. Hold it real good. You can wrap it around your finger if you need to. <laughs> You just hold it there and pull it back and you let the knife cut the rope. Okay. Okay. So I'll do, I'll do the, the pull through. I mean the slice. It slices really, you know what? The texturing on the blade though, does kind of grab the rope a little bit as I'm going through. Now this one's a little bit harder when you do the pull through because you do need to have a little bit of a little bit of strength and force. I'll let you try it though if you want. Yeah, that's a little bit more effort than I want. This texturing really kind of grabs the rope a little bit. I don't, I don't, I don't know if it, I mean, uh, I can't fault the finishing on the edge, but it's the finish on the blade. Why does SpongeBob have a gun? Why, why shouldn't SpongeBob have a gun? Yeah. Because he's sick of Squidward's shit. <laughs> Ready? Pew! Oh. Dad, you just proved that guy Pew. wrong. Pew! Dad. Pew! What? You just proved that guy wrong. What did we prove wrong? Remember Pew. that guy where he said, like, some hateful comments about, like, oh, this is a family, family friendly. Oh, family. yes, we did, because I said that word. Yeah. All right, so. Overall, uh, finished really well, even bevels. Ugh, if it just didn't have that texture finish, it would have sliced a lot nicer, but. Beautiful knife out of the package. And you are stuck there now because you chose to come into it. <laughs> I was already here like fucking 20, 30 minutes ago. Well, you fucking should have fucking fucked. With fucking. Um, I love the finish on the titanium. I mean, that is just a gorgeous look to it. This is definitely a knife I would carry around. Ethan, is this a knife you'd carry around? Yes. Would you be proud to show this off? Yes. Good. Uh, if I If I had to like, if I was making like a little mini uh, horror short film, I'd just put ketchup on it. As well. <laughs> That'll be edited out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So awesome, guys. As always, um, I forgot what I was going to say. All right. Awesome. Uh, you so, what to say. as always, link to Monthly Knife Club in the video description. I love Monthly Knife Club. I love the Onyx. Uh, 
they got like a 98.5% awesome rate. Very, very rarely do I not like what comes in it. Um, great materials, great knife, well worth the subscription price. And I had a great time with my little spoops here, Ethan, unboxing and teaching them some stuff. That's also some screws. They know. They saw them. No. -uh. A uh hot -huh, times infinity. I win. No, uh, All right, I let me know what you think of this month's knife. Um, I love the finish on that titanium piano. All right, I'm gonna take this, and you guys uh, take to the comments and let us know what you think this month. And remember that you guys are all absolutely awesome, and we appreciate every single one of you. And we'll be back again real soon. No. Uh huh. <laughs> no, it's a Damn it. <laughs>